Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm walking. I know. You're probably asking yourself, I didn't know that fat shits walk. That's actually not a question, that's more of a statement. Golf R, Golf GTI, they're in the garage. Very nice, very nice. Um, that's what I do every morning. I walk to work and I walk past some really interesting cars. And I have this half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the evening where I could actually make videos and I don't. And I decided to exploit that opportunity and take advantage of it. And it's quite awkward actually because uh, people here, they, they're not really used to seeing, you know, people vlog or, or film or do anything. But um, I mean, like that, for example, I think I'm crazy. It's probably going to call the police now or an exorcist or something. Um, it's, it's kind of weird. So I'll try not to do it too often. Probably every morning, but whenever someone comes, I'm probably going to stop. Anyway, um, I don't see any interesting cars right now, but there's a used car lot there. And they have this one car, it's like 500 francs, which is about $500 US dollars. The franc and the dollars one to one most of the time. And um, he says, you know, it's got no problems or anything. I'm not too sure, you know. I don't know. When someone, especially a shady car dealer like that, sells a car for 500 francs or $500, yeah, it's gonna be a bit dodgy. I'd go for it though. I'd wanna do a road trip, uh, go on a road trip, and um, like drive a few hundred kilometers, something like that, with the car, see if it manages. If it doesn't, so what? It cost me 500 francs, you know? Like from here to London or something. Still cheaper than um, accommodation. Okay, well, not really, hey? 500 francs is a bit more than a plane ticket then back. I would do it though. So I just happened to forget my laptop at home, which was inconvenient. Now I have to sit in the train, as you can see, to go and get my laptop. Luckily, I have an iced tea to keep me company much rather be sitting in an AMG GT Mercedes but or an Audi RS4 wouldn't mind that either or any car but here we are look at it look at that that's an R32 dual exhaust in the back carbon fiber hood or whatever you call it matte black hood nice I would not mind one of those to be honest listen ooh Sounds good too. Come on, go. No? Oh, some cyclist just drove in front of it. No. And now there's more people. Give it? Give it the beans. You know that the maximum threshold for exhaust threshold, you know, the loudest it's allowed to be is 80 decibel or something in Switzerland. So it's pretty sad. And that's where that ended actually. Um, it started raining yesterday. Today is another day. It's a new dawn. Sorry. Uh, it's a new day and it's the end of the day actually, looking outside now. But um, nothing really much happens. And I wish I could make more videos. Um, so I would appreciate, I have no idea if you guys want to hear me talk to myself all the time or if you just like listen. Buddy, give it a rest. Listen, buddy, give it a rest. Stop uploading bullshit. Upload your usual videos. Um, I'll do that. If you do like this video, which I highly doubt, uh, let me know. Just say in the comments. Cool video. Keep making them. And I'll keep making them. Even though they're pathetic. Also, I saw a classified ad today for an Alfa Romeo uh two 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 six something two six something anyway and it had a supercharged v6 you know the normal alpha v6 the normal alpha v6 awesome engine right it sounds it sounds super it sounds so good um 
it's got reasonable amounts of horsepower, like what, 280, something like that? And someone supercharged it. And what is Alpha not known for? No, it's, no, okay, it's not known for reliability. You sick fuck. Alphas are not known for reliability, so throwing a supercharger on an unreliable engine, not sure how that works. <laughs> but, uh, I was thinking of buying an Alpha, and uh, I don't have much money at all, actually, at the moment, I'm pretty broke. Um, so I don't have any, any money to throw at a car. And so buying an Alpha is probably a very dumb decision, but... YOLO? Didn't Jeremy... I'm scared to look. Don't know what that was. Didn't Jeremy Clarkson say every car guy has to have owned an Alpha? I'm not a car guy yet. Damn it. Anyway, tune in for tomorrow's video and uh, let me know if you liked it. My yeah, video just switched off. Oh, I didn't. I'm watching Life of Tom. Uh, if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. Don't. But don't be hateful. <laughs> Please. Uh, anyway, see you guys.